How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mike, and welcome to episode one of my HD Alpha Sapphire Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, and welcome to the beginning of this epic adventure. We're jumping into episode one right away with the action, because we have to save Professor Birch. Now, in episode zero, I showed you guys the starters for this game. Gallade, Pinsir, and... Can I let you guys vote on which one you wanted me to take? And overwhelmingly, a lot of people said, choose Gallade. So that, my friends, is what we are going to be doing. Gallade got over 850 votes. So Gallade is going to be our starter. And we're going to save Professor Birch from this Lombre. Very cool Pokemon. I've been playing so much Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. So it's so nice to see these other Pokemon again. And abilities. I don't even know what Aura Break does, but let's check it out. All the abilities in this game are randomized, all the moves are randomized, so I don't really know what I'm getting. The effects of aura abilities are reversed, we also have the item the Shed Shell, that's kind of cool. I don't know what Aura Break does for us, but I guess it's better than, you know, Truant or something. That move, the ability that only lets you attack every other turn. So, let's try Mach Punch against this Lombre, see how much Mach Punch does. Give it the good old 1-2, and wow, halfway there, but it's gonna hit us with the Water Gun. Ooh, but Gallade tanks it, that was a critical hit too, oh my gosh. Thank you guys for choosing Gallade. This is an awesome starter Pokemon. Gallade looks like such a cool guy too. There we go, we saved Professor Birch. Woo! I went into the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide. Thanks a lot. Oh, but you're Norman's boy, Poketips. I didn't even realize who you were at first. You've grown into quite the young man. This isn't the place for a chat though. Come along to my lab. So, Poketips, I've heard so much about you from your father, but he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, it was quite the performance. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh yes, to say thanks for rescuing me out there, how about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? And it says Poketips received a Trico, but as far as I know, that wasn't quite a Trico that I was using out there. But yes, we are gonna give a nickname to it. Now, I put some thought into this. In my randomizers, I like to go with a naming theme. Last time I did Star Wars characters, and since Avengers Endgame is coming out next month and I'm super excited to see it. I love the Avengers and the Marvel movies. I'm gonna be naming my Pokemon in this run after Avengers characters and Marvel characters in general. So let's name this Gallade Hawkeye after the Avenger Hawkeye. My girl May happens to be out on Route 103 right now surveying Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea for you to head out that way yourself. What do you think? No. Uh, guys, I don't know about you, but I think Professor Birch is trying to set me up with his daughter right now. Ugh, he's gonna make me do it anyway, isn't he? Oh my god, this is beautiful. I love the graphics for this game. I'm so happy to be in Hoenn. Hoenn is one of my favorite regions. I love the original Ruby and Sapphire. Ooh, but wait, an encounter. What is this gonna be? We can't catch it yet, but it looks like it's a Burmy. It's so nice seeing these Pokemon. Again, I've been playing so much Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee lately that all these Pokemon, it's kind of like foreign to me to see the uh, other Pokemon other than Kanto versions. But let's get out of here. Bye bye, Burmy. We can't catch you yet, so obviously anything we run into right now can't be our encounters. But yes, I love the Hoenn region, so it's so nice to be playing Alpha Sapphire right now. Hi there, I work at a Pokemon. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer. Wow, is it that obvious? Am I right? Okay. Being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm gonna give you useful advice. Well, buddy, thank you very much for showing me the Pokemon and the Pokemon Center, and he also gave me some potions, which could be very helpful, because I believe we have to go up here and actually fight May. And another cool thing about this game is once we get balls, we'll be able to get so many encounters so fast. And there's another Pokemon. I guess it's like a little sneak preview of what we could catch. Ooh, Cricketune! No, 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 no! Whoop! <laughs> oh, I love that one. All the Sinnoh Pokemon. Is this the Sinnoh region, or is this the Hoenn region? Drought? Drought Cricketune? That actually seems really counterproductive. I don't think it would want fire moves to be stronger. That thing would get fried like some chicken. <laughs> okay, let's go say hello to May. Staring off into the mountains, I guess, over there in the water, too. Let's see. On Route 103, I found this Pokemon, and this one, and this one, too. <gasps> oh, hey, Poketips. Didn't see you there. What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Then why don't we go ahead and have a quick battle? I'll give you a taste of what it being a trainer is really like. You're on, May! First battle in my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire game, and look at that. Gotta fix her bow. Oh no, she has two Pokemon? Okay, at least her first one is a Mamoswan. We should be able to beat that, I think, with Hawkeye? I think so, because, you know, it's weak 
to, uh, it's weak to the moves, but that's annoying. Every trainer has two Pokemon, including this guy, and we can't catch anything yet, so I might, I, maybe I should have trained up a little bit, but we'll see. I do have some potions, oh, Icicle Crash, that's not good, at least it missed. Alright, let's go for another Mach Punch, come on, critical hit or something. Don't hit me with the Icicle Crash, oh, please don't do too much, don't do too much, this is really scary. This is really scary. How much is this? Oh my god! No! Why every single time? I can't win the first battle ever in Pokemon. And I want no. No, 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 no. He's got a Mega Aerodactyl. I told you it was gonna be tough. We literally lost the first battle. What? What just happened there? Oh my god! Critical hit first time! Please tell me this isn't how the run's gonna go. Wow, okay, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. I'm gonna train up my Pokemon a few more levels just so we could beat May, because, you know, apparently the first trainer of the game is really tough. A Zoomarrow, too. Alright, well, I don't think we're gonna be able to beat this thing, but wow, some cool Pokemon over here. Oh my god, and there's Tornadus here too. Route 101 has some nutty Pokemon. I don't even know what I could knock out here. All these things are like legendaries or crazy Pokemon. Wait, what is going on? I'm trying to heal up. What just happened here? Happy birthday to you, Poketips. It's your special day. No, it's not. It's not my birthday. It is not my birthday. I'm wishing you from the bottom of my heart that this will be a wonderful year for you. Thank you. Thank you, but it's not my birthday. <laughs> this game is great. This game is amazing. All right, well, that was definitely something. Anyway, I trained up my galley to level 7, so Hawkeye's at level 7 now. Hopefully, we'll be able to take out May this time. I always have the worst luck starting out in the beginning of the game. I can't tell you a randomizer where I actually won the first battle. I just can't. I'm so unlucky when it comes to that. But anyway, we're gonna try this out again. Hopefully we can get through May's Mamoswine this time, because if we can't beat May, I don't know what to do. And I'm not gonna restart the whole randomizer just for losing the first battle, because it wouldn't really make much sense to do that, honestly. We can't catch any other Pokemon yet, so we're only- we're kind of stuck using what we have. And I think Hawkeye can do it. So come on out, Hawkeye. Let's try this again. Now we have two levels on that Mammoth Swine. Hoping the Mach Punch can actually do more now. Come on, Mach Punch it. There we go. That does exactly half. Icicle Crash. Don't crit me again. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, come on. Wow, that does so much. That does so much. We really need to get lucky and hope this Mach Punch actually knocks it out. Good, good. Now please have some silly second Pokemon. Be, have a Magikarp. Have a Magi- Oh, nice! Wow, that gets me to level 8? That's awesome! That took me all the way! I like that! As a- Oh, no! My god! What is going on here? What is going on? Seriously, what is going on? May has an Azelf! This is ridiculous! Mamoswine, Azelf! Guys, Episode 0 has me randomizing the game in the description. You can watch the raw footage. This is totally random. This is ridiculous and annoying and I don't like it. Flinch, 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 flinch. No. 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 Oh, we're living. We're living. Okay. Do it again. Hawkeye. Kill it. Kill it. Knock it out. There we go. Oh, Hawkeye, you're the best. Oh, my God. That was a range. That was everything there. Oh, I felt all kinds of emotions. We're at level 9 already. Hawkeye's extremely overleveled. Struggle bug? What kind of move is that? I don't know what that does either. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna see a lot of moves that we don't normally see. Uh, special attacking move, bug. It's not terrible. It's definitely not terrible. Maybe I'll teach it over a... No, I'll teach over quick attack. Quick attack's kind of redundant. We don't need quick attack. Okay. We got through May. May has an Azelf, and May had a Mamoswine, and May bopped me, and we, I was this close to losing again a second time. That's nutty. This is crazy. This game is insane. Wow, I think I know why my dad has his eye on you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, and you've already got as strong of a bond. I bet you could probably defend any kind of Pokemon you meet. Well, I hope so. I really hope so, because now when we go back to the lab, we should finally be getting some Pokeballs, and I'm so excited to see what we're going to be catching in this game. So, I hear you beat May on your first try. Well, I don't know where you heard that from. That's definitely not true. That's amazing. May's been helping with my research for a long time, so she's a 
pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm-hmm. I think that settles it. Pokechips, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. All right, there we go. We get ourselves the Pokedex, but what I'm more excited about are the Pokeballs. Give me the balls, Birch. Give me the balls. Here, I'll give you something too. Some Pokeballs that you can use to catch wild Pokemon. Sweet. It is time, my guys. It is time. Let's go to Route 101 and catch our first Pokemon. So hopefully we don't have another repeat of that May fight. Because remember, every trainer is going to have two Pokemon. Now, May starts off the game. Oh, wait. What are, what are we doing? I'm... I was about to start ranting about stuff. Who's stopping me? Oh, hello, Mom. How are you doing, Mom? Poketips, Poketips. Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. Thank you. You got it from the Professor? How nice. You are your father's child, all right. You look good together with Pokemon. To think you have your own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed. All right, anyway, you really interrupted my train of thought. Oh, wait, are you going to talk some more? Okay, Oh, okay. Bye-bye, Mom. Anyway, I totally forgot what I was saying. But let's go catch some Pokemon. It's t Oh my god! How many people are gonna stop me? This is from my dad. He said he forgot to give it to you before. Ooh, we got the Pokenav Plus. I'm not really sure what they added. Oh, oh, they added a few stuff. It's kind of cool. So we can actually do the sneaking thing in this game. But, you know, we're just gonna run right into the grass and catch our first Pokemon. Let's do it. What's it gonna be? It is a Zoomarrow! That is an awesome first encounter. Let's go. Let's catch ourselves in a Zoomarrow. Now, I also saw there were other legendary Pokemon in this route when I was training. There was a uh, Verizian, I think that's how you pronounce it like Verizon, and then there's also a uh, Tornadus, so I was kind of hoping I'd get one of those, but you know, Azumarill is a pretty awesome Pokemon, and what I'm actually worried about here is it knocking me out, or hopefully I don't knock it out with Struggle Bug, I don't know how strong that move is, okay, good, good, it didn't kill it, good, and it's gonna lower the special attack, it's got Tailwind, I thought that was Whirlwind for a second, I was about to say, how unlucky can we get in this episode if it has Whirlwind? But Tailwind will actually be a really interesting move if we actually successfully catch this thing. Alright, yeah, we're not weakening it anymore. That's it. It's gonna go for Tailwind again. Hopefully it knows something else other than Tailwind, because it would be nice to have a Pokemon we could actually do stuff with. But come on, get in the ball, Azumarill. Hopefully it'll be a first throw catch. It's actually kind of cool for me actually finally getting to weaken the Pokemon again. Because like I said, been playing so much Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and there we go! We caught ourselves a Azumarill. But yeah, I've been playing so much Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee that I'm just used to just throwing the balls at it and hoping for the best. Ah, Azumarill though, that's an awesome Pokemon, the Aqua Rabbit Pokemon. And Azumarill is going to be known as Peggy, after Peggy from Captain America. So let's check out Peggy, see what she has. Okay, first off, we have an item here, the Skull Fossil. That's actually really cool, so I don't remember where you can revive fossils in this game, but we might actually be able to get, I think it's for Kranidos? So that's actually really cool. But anyway, it knows Tailwind, Rock Throw, Icy Wind, and Electro Ball. Very interesting moves. Very glad it has attacking moves, though. When I was using Tailwind over and over again, I was getting kind of worried. Anyway, now let's go on to the next route. I think Route 103 is the next one up there, but of course, May has to stop me again. What are you talking about? See that right there? There's a tail sticking out. Nani? Where? Where? Am I crazy or do I just not see it? Do you guys see a tail? I don't see a tail. All right, let's go sneak up to it, but I, I just don't see it. Where is the tail? There's no tail. May, you're crazy. That's it. We're leaving. Bye-bye. Okay, good. We actually can leave. <laughs> I don't see a tail at all. I don't know what she was talking about. But what I do know that we're going to be talking about is the encounter that we're about to get on Route 103. What's it going to be? Ooh, awesome. We do get the cricket tune. Oh, I love it. La -la 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 -la. Sorry, guys, you're gonna be hearing me do that a lot throughout this run. Okay, so, oh wait, does this one not have droughts? Oh, that's okay. Drought would have been pretty interesting to have, but, you know what, with having uh, Peggy, I don't really think we want anything with drought on the team anyway. Oh wait, it has a berry? Oh, that sucks, it would be nice to catch it with the berry. A guav berry? I have no clue what that does. Oh, good, and in this generation, I think leech life is really weak, so that's not gonna be doing too much damage to us. You know what? I don't want to risk it doing another attack yet. Let's just go for a Pokeball. Let's see if we can get lucky and catch a Cricketune. Cricketune can't be too hard to catch, right? Okay, one. Ah. Oh. All right, let's try it again. If it keeps healing up, I'll weaken it again with Astonish. I just really don't want to knock this thing out. So come on, Cricketune. Join my team. You know you want to. Three, and come on, one more. Ah. Oh. All right, we're going to have to go for Astonish. Powder? What kind of move is Powder? 
Hawkeye is covered in powder. Shake it off, Hawkeye. All right, let's go for Astonish. Again, what is powder? What does this do? I don't know. I've never seen some of these moves before. Oh my god, that's scary. It's in the red, but now it should be very easy to catch. Let's do it. Go! Pokeball! This is the one. This is the one. How is a Zoomarrow actually easier to catch than Krigatoon? I don't know. Three, and we got him! Nice! Okay, and Krigatoon is gonna be named Mantis after Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy. And I think we're done here. Oh wait, one more Pokemon, I guess. Let's just check out and see what it is. It's, uh, Electros. That would have been an interesting Pokemon to catch. I've never used one of those things ever. But let's check out Mantis. That's actually insane. Mantis's ability is pure power, which doubles its attack stat. What nature is it, though? I don't see that anywhere. Modest. Oh, that's terrible. But that's interesting. Pure power. So Mantis, I don't know what its base attack is, but whatever it is, it's going to be double that with pure power. Very strong ability for that Pokemon. But why would we stop it there? Because we have another route we could go on over here. What is this? Route 102? Okay, yeah, the Hoenn route. Oh, look at the Wingles. They're so cute. But the Hoenn routes are in such a weird little order. But anyway, let's jump into the grass here and catch ourselves another new Pokemon. What's it going to be? Ferrothorn. Look at these encounters. That is so cool. Ferrothorn. Now, I've never used a Ferrothorn ever in, like, my in-game playthrough. I might have used it, like, once or twice in competitive. But this is definitely going to be a huge first for me. I think Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn is a grass and steel type so that should be a lot of fun acid spray what does this do it lowers my special defense okay interesting i think one more astonish should be good we won't knock it out with another astonish right oh god i get so scared when i see it get that close and shatter is that chat todd's signature move so weird seeing that on a feral thorn and it confuses me all right that actually might be fun later on if i could catch this feral thorn but that's the thing let's see can we catch feral thorn let's do it yo pokeball go all right one Two, three, and we got him! Ferrothorn is ours! Alright, let's give a warm welcome to Gamora the Ferrothorn, and oh my god, look at, the, look at his ability. Huge power and pure power. We have basically two of the same abilities on these Pokemon. These guys are going to be broken. They're going to be really strong, Ferrothorn especially, because Ferrothorn's a really tanky Pokemon, and he usually doesn't have the best attack, but huge power doubling its attack, that's huge. So it has, let's see... Poison Tail, not a bad move. Chatter, definitely not a bad move, although it's not going to be that great. And what berry is that? The Chopple Berry? I don't know what that one does. If held by a Pokemon, this berry will lessen the damage taken from one fighting super effective attack. Oh, oh, you know what? Let's put that right back on Gamora, because Gamora is actually weak to fighting. That's actually a really good coincidence. Okay, so let's keep going on this route. I think there's some trainers here. You know what? I want to heal up, actually, so I can use some other Pokemon other than Hawkeye. Hawkeye's way overleveled. Okay, we're all healed up, and I think I'm going to try out Gamora in these battles. So let's Let's go. First trainer battle against somebody who isn't Mei. Hopefully this Pokemon, I mean, this person doesn't have an Azelf. I just called this person a Pokemon. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Pangoru, though. That's a very cool Pokemon. I haven't seen that one in a long time. So let's see. Pangoru is fighting and dark, I want to say. So we might actually use our Choppleberry right away. Uh, Disarming Voice. Does that do damage? I don't think so? I'm not sure. Let's try Chatter. I think I can take a hit if it- Oh, no! No, 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 no! This thing hits more than once? That might be a mess. Oh, my God! No, don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Thank- Thank you! Thank you so much! Oh, my gosh! We almost lost this guy right away! That would be a nightmare! That would be crazy! All right, that's it. We're not playing any more Risky Strats. Come back, Gamora! That was fun, but we're bringing out Hawkeye! And, you know, maybe, maybe, since it's confused now with the chatter, it might start hurting itself. That would be pretty good, actually. All right, Aura Break is coming out. Let's see, Pangoru, hurt yourself. Ooh, he's going for Secret Sword? Or is that Sacred Sword? I don't know. Either way, three damage on Hawkeye. Not very effective. That's good. That's very good. So let's just go for the Mock Punch. I think that'll knock it out. I think so. Yeah, that's going to take care of the Panguru. Panguru. Very nice. Let's see how many Pokemon names I can't pronounce in this series. Starting off number one with Panguru. We're probably earlier on in this episode, too. And Gamora's level four. Very nice. And level five. I'm liking this a lot. And it looks like a Helio... I'm not even going to try to say this one either. But that one's a cute one. One of my favorite looking Pokemon from Gen 6. I wish I had one. Maybe, maybe we'll actually get one. Wait, what type is it? Is it normal type? Did I just use a ghost type move against normal type Pokemon? 
Oh my gosh, I feel ridiculous. I feel really silly. Anyway, let's go for Mach Punch. That's gonna hit it, right? There we go. Yeah, it must be a normal type. I thought it was electric type. Maybe that's the evolution. Oh well. You live and you learn. Arr, I lost. I should have trained mine more. You're telling me. Okay, so we healed up again. I think there are more trainers on this route, so let's keep going. Let's see. Are you gonna fight us? Yes, you are. Haha! -ha! Our eyes met! I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon! Let's see if you actually have any bug Pokemon, though. Ooh, look at that sprite. That's crazy. Collector Rick with the Grimer. Okay, that's something we should hopefully be able to take out. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be seeing any Alolan forms in this game. Not 100% sure, but I don't think we're gonna see any. I don't think I've modded any in. But let's try... Ugh, I guess Chatter's me our best move against this thing. Ooh, Grimer with Quick Attack. That's really weird. That's probably gonna do all of one damage to me, though. Yep. So let's go for Chatter. See how much this does. Not that much either. You would think with, like, the huge power ability doubling its attack, Gamora would do a little bit more damage. Oh, wait, that's a special attacking move, of course. But it's the best in the, this situation, I think, because, you know, Poison Tail would definitely be resisted. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's try... Let's knock it out with Poison Tail. Why not? It's at low enough health anyway. Maybe it'll knock itself out. Ooh, there we go. Now that's lucky. I like that. Good job. Grimer taking itself out, and Gamora unfortunately isn't going to have a target for this battle, but that's okay. Gamora deserves a nice rest turn. Sweet Scent! Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes! That's the one that works in the overworld, right? That's the one that works in the overworld and lets us see a bunch of Pokemon. This is really, really good. So let's get rid of something. What should I get rid of? Sweet Scent. Now that is going to be awesome. I am looking forward to that. I am looking forward to that a bunch. And Unknown! I have not seen an unknown in forever either. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll just try Chatter out again. I don't think- oh wow, unknown with actual moves, that's cool. Now I don't think it's gonna share Chatter- soundproof. Are you serious? So this unknown, let's just get this over with for a second. This unknown has the one ability in the game that blocks the one move that I just used. This is ridiculous. This is not- Oh no, wait, I just used Disarming Voice, another sound move! I'm an idiot! I'm so dumb! It's gonna do nothing again! Uh, uh. Oh my god, this is ridiculous! This is the, like, the biggest fail episode ever! At least Submission isn't doing too much. Oh, I'm actually getting- kinda getting a little worried. Getting a lot worried, actually, okay. Poison Tail almost knocked it out. But it's poisoned. Is that going to do enough? Is the poison damage going to do enough? Yes, we beat the unknown. Good. Nice job, Gamora. Wow. Wow, that battle. We got a lot out of that battle. Sweet scent. Almost lost a Pokemon, though. Oh my gosh, this is wild. Let's see. Are there any more trainers on this route? I'm not 100% sure. How many trainers are on this route? Wow. Oh, look at this guy. Little secret base ninja with the Bergamites. Well, luckily for us, I think we can just drop a rock on its head, and that should do a decent amount of damage to it. Ah, nothing crazy. Freeze dry. Wait a second, is that... Oh, wow, no, that's the super effect. And we're frozen. All right, Peggy, you've got to get out of here. This isn't going to work out too well for us. All these battles are so dangerous. Who would think a Bergamite could be a Pokemon that's a killer early on in this game? But wow, Peggy got way too close to dying. Hawkeye, come on out. We're gonna have to go for the mock punch here. Or a break. Bolt strike! That's Zekrom's signature move. What are you doing with this? Oh. Again, at least it's not doing too much. And that can't freeze me. That's always a plus. Mock punch should finish it, though, I'm hoping. Yes, very good. Very, very good. I can't believe it. We're frozen. Peggy is frozen. That actually makes sense, though, considering the Captain America series. So Cap was frozen for a long time. It makes sense. All right, Hawkeye, finish off that sneaky snake! All right, so I think we're done on this route. We battled basically every single trainer, and how many times is May gonna come up to me? Look, up there. Check him out, Pokétips. What are we looking at, May? Oh, look at the Beautifly. That's so beautiful. Wow, it really gives me hope that we're gonna do well in this run. You know, we have four amazing Pokémon. Peggy, Mantis, Gamora, Hawkeye. And with those Pokemon by my side, I feel invincible. So, guys, I think this is a great point to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching episode one. That was insane. That first battle with Mei, I honestly was shocked. I didn't think Icicle Crash was going to do that much damage right away. And oh my god, that battle against the unknown, we're not going to talk about that anymore. We're not going to talk about that anymore. 
But my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in episode two.